Morning. It is, as you can see, absolutely abysmal. Um, it's just not sunny in Italy all the time. What can you say about a day like today? Walking down the train in, just finished breakfast. This is the walk down. Down this, it's actually quite a nice little walk, if it's sunny. But, so we have our shoes with us today. Um, had a pretty miserable erg last night. And to be honest, I don't really want to see it again. Sorry, there's like so many puddles, look at this. They're slides with socks, um, so get over it. They're very comfortable, practical, except on rainy days. So, if I can not let mum and dad see, I'll try and film some of the erg, but mum and dad don't like you filming things. So, see how that goes. It's a no for me. Erg, all finished. And now we get to walk home. Um, GoPro some of the Erg. But Ergs are boring. Um, Dora the Explorer here is ready to go to the gym. Say hi. Have none of it. Yeah, so we have a wee break now and then into the gym, lift some weights. What are those? <laughs> Cleans are done and they're coming up next. And I decided to join in with Sunita Prosper. And the folks got the mum and dad are watching too. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the through ice covered in pink and bleach. Cross out the ones who help me. Cries and watch me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush That's weights over. Dad was watching the whole time. Mom wasn't here. So uh, that's cool. So we managed to film some stuff, but 
had to keep some on the DL. Don't worry, let out the secrets. Anyway, you'll see him in the background. So that's where it's done. Um, later on, aerobic session, something, maybe water, maybe not, do know. Uh, but better go and get some lunch. Um, peace. So, what's up? We are now finished weights. Um, it is later on in the day. Um, we'll make it a shake. Hope you noticed skinny ass legs. They still have no. It's always been an issue. Never really been able to put size on and to get stronger. But what you gonna do? Uh, milk, banana. So this is like the self catering and kitchen in the IIS, which is pretty good. Uh, coffee machine, water dispensers, all food. These covers are all. Promised. We have a special guest this afternoon. How you getting on? Uh, many of you know him as Mr. Byrne, and he'll be answering some questions for us today. Are you happy to proceed? Carry on. Mr. Byrne, please tell us how long you've been rowing and where did you start rowing? I started rowing in Shandon Bow Club uh, for the last. I've been rowing the last ten years. Only competitively for the last maybe five or six though. So. so you're rowing full time now. Tell us one the best and the worst thing about being a full time athlete. Best thing, uh, you can eat all the sweeties you want and not worry about getting chunk. And the worst thing then, there's no more late nights. No more late nights out. Uh, they have to all stop, they have to go away. Uh, and why do you think that you have been so successful over the last 12 months? Silver medal at the World Cup, silver medal at the World Championships, and you won the European on 23s. Um, you didn't attend the World on the 23s, but um, a successful year overall. I think a lot of success in the last 12 months comes from just, you know, building, like I've been, you know, you take it step by step, so when I was 16, obviously I wasn't aiming for this level. I was aiming to win the national championships. And then you aim to win things like the Coupe de la Jeunesse or the Junior World Championships and you build it up and up. And then eventually you just get to a point where you're enjoying success like this. If you could do any other sport, what would it be and why? Fighting. Any particular type? Just fighting. Boxing. Straight up like Boxing. Um, why? So, because um, I feel there's a lot of uh, aggression and respect in that sport. Two things which I two things which I like to associate with myself. And could you please share with everyone what your sporting philosophy is? Uh, Fumar Mata. 
which is a Spanish, it's an ancient Spanish um, saying, which means uh, never surrender. What is your favorite treat and why? Favorite treat? Uh, one of those 100 gram bars of milk. Can't get enough of them. Because they're not big enough to uh, put you in a coma and they're just big enough to hit the spot. Right. Uh, and finally, um, who are your three most inspirational people in the world? You can't say me. You're not allowed. No. Uh, okay, so Elton John, Elton John, Pierce Brosnan, and the entire. Uh, 2001 Manchester United starting panel. And just 2001. Just 2001. Yep. Okay. Perfect. That's everything. Um, is there anything you would like to add? Any personal no. thoughts or reflections? No. Nothing. Nothing in particular. No. Perfect. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Pleasure, pleasure. All the best. You know everything you need to know about the man, the myth, the legend, Ronan Byrne. Um, only 21 years old and doing pretty good. So I'm in lying on top of the bed now. It's Sunday lunchtime. We had a run uh, yesterday evening. This morning we were on the water. So that's a half day now, Sunday afternoon, off. Gonna go for a walk, get some ice cream, get a pizza later. Uh, enjoy the, the thrills of Italy. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, the importance of the rest day is high up. So I'm going to go and enjoy it and see you soon. Bye.